Google Calendar is well loved by millions of teachers for its ease of use and flexibility. Schoology also has a built-in calendar tool, and whenever you add a due date to an assignment, discussion, or quiz, that event is automatically added to the course's calendar and the calendars of all the members in the class, which is really nice. You can also add other events to your Schoology calendar. A calendar is a very useful resource for your students and parents, and this video will cover these three topics that can help you make your decisions about how best to organize your calendars and which tool to use so that it communicates what you want to your students and is easy for you to manage. First, let's see how easy it is to use a Google Calendar and just embed that right into Schoology. Right now, I'm in my Google Calendar for my 7th grade Lang Arts class. You can also see the school calendar down below in pink. Before you embed or add this calendar to Schoology so your students can see it, make sure your calendar is set to public. Just choose the triangle next to the calendar's name and choose Share. Make sure it is set to public, not just shared with everyone in Jeffco. Okay, now we need to find its embed code, which is on the Calendar Details page. If you scroll about halfway down, you'll see the embed code here. You can simply copy this code if you only want this one calendar. I want this calendar plus the school events calendar, so I will click the Customize Color, Size, and Other Options link. Here I can adjust the navigation buttons that are showing to students, and if I want the default view to be month, week, or agenda. I can adjust the width and height for the calendar here, or I can do that in Schoology. In the Calendars to Display box, I can easily find and add my school events calendar by putting a check mark by it. The preview box above updates, as does my embed code, which I am now ready to copy. Now that I've copied the code, I'm going to take it over to Schoology. I have already created a folder for my calendar to live in, so I'll enter that folder. The Page tool is the best option for embedding this kind of item, so let me select Add Materials, and I'll choose Add Page slash Text Block. And I'll title my page. I've copied embed code, which is HTML code, so I'll use the toggle on the toolbar to switch to HTML view, and I'll paste in my embed code that I have copied. Now let me switch back to normal view using that same toggle. I could have done this process by using the insert content button, chosen image slash media, chosen from the web, chosen media, and then pasted my code in here, but I find the HTML route a little bit faster. Let me click the blue create button so I can see how this calendar will look to my students. It looks really good. When I add new events to my Lang Arts calendar, or if the school adds new events to the school calendar, the changes will appear here automatically. And my students can use the plus button to add this calendar to their personal Google calendars. I like it, but because the calendar is a primary communication tool in my class, I'd like to make this page even more obvious. Let me go edit the item, and I will click on the display on a new page option and choose save. Now my students can see the calendar right from the folder outline view and don't need to click on the title of the page to see events. Okay, so part one is done. Now let's look at the Schoology calendar option. Each course automatically comes with a calendar and as you can see, events are added to this course's calendar whenever I assign due dates. If you want to use this calendar for more than just the assignments that take place in Schoology, you can use the add event link to add more items. I will usually turn off comments for most events, and if this event is happening in more than one of my classes, I'll use this icon to copy it. Click Save when you're done. All events showing on this course's calendar post to the user calendars of any of the members in this class. Schoology's calendar tool is very nice, and Google's calendar tool is seen as one of the premier calendar tools, so you can use one or the other, or if you want to use both, that will take us to the third and final part of this video. If you click the triangle by your name and go into your account settings, you'll see an iCal link to share your Schoology calendar with another calendar tool like Google Calendar. Simply copy the link. Then go to your Google Calendar. Use the triangle next to other calendars and choose Add by URL. Paste in the iCal link and choose Add Calendar. 
Easy, right? So here's how it looks. Here's my seventh grade Lang Arts calendar in blue, and my Schoology calendar events that Schoology is pushing to Google are showing up in yellow. It's very handy, but there are some reasons why this might not work for you. First, Schoology is pushing all events from all of my classes to this one yellow calendar. So you can see that I have two classes that have the consumer product review assignment due on Friday. Schoology has pushed that event from both of my classes. So if you teach the same class four times, you will have four separate postings on your calendar. It's not a huge deal, but this assignment on Monday is not for my seventh grade Lang Arts classes. It's for a different class. But since all of the assignments push to the same Schoology calendar in my Google calendar, I can't tell which class this is for. Nor can I hide it from my seventh graders who don't need to worry about it, but probably will if they see it here. Not being able to push only certain classes to Google and not being able to create separate Schoology calendars inside this view makes this tool not work well for someone who teaches different grade levels or classes. There just aren't any details that come along with the events to indicate which class they belong to. And last, it can take a long time for Schoology to send events over to Google. I'm still not sure what Schoology's timetable is for pushing events to my Google Calendar, Sometimes this happens in an hour or so, and sometimes it'll take overnight. There are no shortage of calendar tools to help you and your students stay organized. You can use Google Calendar and embed it in Schoology. You can use Schoology's calendar and add events to it as needed. Or if you only have a homeroom or one class in Schoology, you can use both options and have your Schoology events sent over to your Google Calendar. I really like Google Calendar because I find it fast and easy, I'm very familiar with it, and I can embed it both in my Schoology classes and on my classroom website. But now that you have seen all options in action, you can choose the one best suited to your needs.